Okay, so one method of trying to find that leading coefficient that works a little better than just guessing. I mean, I would do, wasn't guessing too bad with what I wrote, but um, what you can do is, okay, I can see this function's been shifted right one down to, and I know it opens down negative, but I almost don't even have to worry about that. What I can think about this is what y equals or f of x equals a times x minus uh, one squared um, minus two. And then is there a leading coefficient? Well, I know it's negative. I know it's negative one half from that earlier work I did. But what I can do is I can pick a point, a nice lattice point. See, that's a nice lattice point. So negative one, negative four, it wouldn't be, I mean, I could also do three negative four if you wanted to. I mean, that, that will give us the same result. And then what you can do is substitute those values in for X and Y. So I, I mean, when I go with a three negative four, one less negative to have to deal with. So Y is negative three. I don't know what A is. I know that X is three minus one squared minus two. Now we just have to solve this for A. So I'll, I'll, subtract, I'll add two to both sides. And that'll give me A. Um, times two squared, right? Because negative three minus one is two and I'm gonna square it. So negative two equals a times four. And then to solve for a, I'm gonna divide by four and negative two divided by four is negative one half. So that tells me that a equals negative one half. And I did that the other way just by eyeballing it. Um, negative one half. So that does work and it works really well. See, it even catches the negative so it opens down. Um, one thing, while I'm recording this, I might as well talk about this. Um, how I did that without having to do that formula, I know that normal everyday parabolas do this. I If, uh, if I go over one, one squared is one, negative one squared is one. Two squared is four, negative two squared is four. So do you see if I, if, if I had enough space in this graph, I could say go over three, I'm gonna get nine, so way up here, right, off my screen. So I know a normal everyday parabolas have that pattern, go over one, up two, go over two, up four, go over three, up nine. And this one, if I went over one, down one, over two, down two, do you see how it's not, this should be, this over two, down two should be up at four. So I knew, I knew it got cut in half. So that's why I said one half, and then I knew it, because it's open down, it goes negative. Okay, so that either way works. Uh, when we start studying polynomials uh, in chapter three, this A, solving for A method works really well. In fact, that's how you want to do it. But and it works here too, because I mean, just a parabola is just another polynomial. So, all right, hopefully that helps.